hi guys welcome to my channel the ink reader i wanted today to do a kind of a brief tbr for august reason why it's going to be very brief and a bit different than usual is because i am going away at the end of july and because of that i'm not going to be able to have my 10 books tbr as usual now the majority of my tbrs if you watch the tbr videos i've done and they they just don't have sometimes 12 books so one book for each month in it which allows me to basically be able to skip one month without sacrificing anything of that tbr these tbrs in specifically which i'm not gonna basically have a pick for august are gonna be my finishing series tbr and uh, because i've just got one book left in it and i can read that in september without an issue and the same applies for the horror tbr i've just got one left and again i can read that without an issue in september or october for the non-fiction for example i don't have a stable tbr so there is no come down to books i'm literally picking non-fiction randomly every month just because i enjoy them so if i skip a month no big deal my domestic violence actually i've done the last installment in july and i'm not gonna continue on for at least this year for sure so i I kind of passed from 10 books to 9 now for the rest of the year that I have to read every month. The TBR jar again is a random pick from my shelves and it's not like a stable predefined TBR so even if I skip it I'm not taking away anything for any TBR preceptor. But before I get into the books that are coming with me on holiday I want to show you this which is uh, then seen academics or something of the sort which is the next installment book 38 i believe or 37 in the disco world series i'll try to get around to read this when i come back from the holidays hopefully by the end of august but i'm not gonna take it away with me just because of the cover i'll be you know probably on the beach and i just don't want to ruin it so very quickly the books that i'm gonna take with me on holiday and try to get around to read while i'm away first of all on my kindle i downloaded parasite eve just because the paperback of four V's on Amazon is £800, which is like, no fucking way, I'm gonna spend that money on this book, <laughs> um, on any book, to be fair, uh, so far at least, you know, don't mark my words in the future, but definitely I not gonna spend that money as of now. So I just downloaded it for £5 on my Kindle, and I don't know anything about this synopsis of this, apart from it's a kind of thriller horror Japanese um, story. There is a video game based on this story and I believe it's about this doctor that loses his wife and somehow acquires a piece of her uh, that she does in an accident. And I don't know what happens to the piece of her. I guess something creepy and I cannot wait to find out. And hopefully I can maybe try the video game if I love these, I don't know. Um, let me know if you know anything about Parasite Eve, I'm curious. Then for my European TBR, I decided to pick up the beast and go to France and finally read The Count of Monte Cristo uh, by Alexandre Dumas. Now, as you'll notice soon, I picked up huge books. Yes, I'm going to take only four physical books with me, but I did, did I say five before? No, I'm planning to read five books at least when I'm going away and I'm going to take four physical books but the four I am going to take are going to be massive because they've got beasts to tackle this year and I thought you know the only probably time where I could do it is probably when I'm on holiday so I'm going to read The Canto Monte Cristo this is my Italian copy hopefully by reading this in Italian will be I will be even more quicker I, I honestly don't know otherwise when I'll ever go around to read this beast but I've heard amazing things about The Canto Monte Cristo so and the other two and the other two choices one is my fantasy choice and although usually i pick it randomly this time i just pick uh, the chunkiest i've got apart from the stormlight archives the reason why i'm not reading the second installment in the stormlight archives is just because i love the covers and i don't want to pick up something and bring something on traveling that is going to get ruined because i know it's going to get ruined to certain degrees for how much i can be careful with it so my copy of these is already very battered just because i bought this used uh ages ago so it's not gonna get much worse than this basically and this is dead house gates by steve erickson this is the dark fantasy pick for that tbr i've done a whole tbr where i was reading subgenres of fantasy one book for each subgenre so this is the dark fantasy one and it's basically very gloomy uh 
sad, dramatic, intense uh, and violent, usually fantasy. First book I really enjoyed and I want to continue on. I'm going to tackle this beast, which is like how many pages? A thousand. Perfect. I just plan to go to a beach and read. And before I go, I wanted to ask you though, if you have any suggestions for prompts for um, TBRs, because I am starting to look at what can I do next year. I definitely like the format I'm doing, but I definitely want to mix it up and change my TBRs and change, you know, each prompts for the months. And I am open to suggestions. I've got a bunch written down, way more than I could ever read. Like I've got probably 15, 20. Um, kind of ideas for single TBRs and just have, you know, one book for each TBR every month as I'm doing now, but I am still open because some of them are a bit, mm, I don't know. So if you have brilliant ideas or if you've got any ideas and you want to leave down below of like a TBR you want to see for next year, that'd be awesome, awesome. And I'm going to see you next time when I come back. Ciao!